When Cassandra comes after Rapunzel with the Moonstone on her side, new incantations are discovered that allow them both to unleash the full scope of their powers. For the first time ever, we got to see the full strength of the Sundrop be released, and all of that was because of Rapunzel's most powerful incantation ever. But where did it come from? How was it discovered? And what could it do? We're gonna understand it all today. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watson Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. I'm focused on spreading magic by discussing Disney, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. The newest episode of Tangled the Series that showcased all of these new incantations, I was really hoping to be a showstopper, and it definitely was. We were able to experience a new duet between the characters of Cassandra and Varian, we witnessed Rapunzel attempt to propose to Eugene for once, and we had a very big reveal at the very end to keep us excited for another week. Definitely let me know your favorite moment from this special down below because there is a lot to talk about and I'd love to start a conversation down there. But before we get into all of those other topics, first I wanted to get a grasp of the new magic that we have just learned about. Of course, long ago an event in the heavens brought a single drop of sunlight and a small moonstone down to Earth. These ancient powers were then researched by an engineer named Lord Demanitus and his pupils. But when their knowledge became too dangerous, the scroll containing what they had learned was spread across the world. And it would not be reunited and researched again until Rapunzel found all of the pieces and gave them to the brilliant alchemist Varian to uncover the lost wisdom. All of this was done to ensure that the incantations Demanitus and his followers had found would not fall into the wrong hands. He ensured that all of his research would remain safe and out of the hands of the temptation of mankind. And if you're looking to keep your own personal information secure, then consider downloading today's sponsor, Dashlane. I don't know about you, but I really struggle with balancing having memorable and extremely secure passwords. Because while I love the convenience of having every account linked to one password, I know that puts me at risk because if one account ever got hacked, all of the other accounts that had that same password would be compromised. That's where Dashlane comes in. Dashlane is a password manager that protects all of your passwords, credit card numbers, and data safely. They can generate passwords for you and then automatically fill that information in online so you can have unique passwords that you no longer have to memorize. That's why for me, Dashlane makes a lot of sense because I want to be ensured that I'm able to get to all of the wonderful places I want to go online quickly and safely. So if you like to never worry about remembering or worrying about all of your passwords and you like to support the magical content I strive to create, Download Dashlane for free on your first device by clicking the link in the description. This will show Dashlane that you care about what I'm making here. And as a bonus for supporting me, they will even throw in 30 days of their premium service for free. And you don't even need a credit card to sign up. Seriously, every download through my link in the description means a lot, so go download Dashlane and keep your passwords safe. Especially since, as we saw when Cassandra came to take her revenge, when knowledge that isn't meant to be discovered is found, danger can definitely be on the way. While we have all been aware of the healing incantation that Mother Gothel used to retain her life, and previously on Rapunzel's adventure to the Dark Kingdom, she had uncovered a decay incantation, there were actually still more to be found. When Rapunzel and her friends stumbled upon the Great Tree, they discovered that this was a location where many of the incantations that existed were deciphered. This stronghold of the ancient entity Zontiri had some scrolls that were already translated, but others were lost. This meant that Rapunzel and her friends were only able to discover the Decay Incantation. But now, through the work of Varian on the Demanitus Scroll, and some guidance by an extremely helpful dream, we have two new incantations that allow the full power of the Moonstone and the Sundrop to be released. Hopefully when Varian was unearthing the mysteries of the Demanitus Scroll, he also discovered this little hidden Mickey up here. I mean, he had been working on this thing for weeks, so you'd think that he would get to know all the little ins and outs. And he eventually did. All of the text that he could find was deciphered, which allowed him to discover an incantation that would allow someone to take full control over the Moonstone's black rocks. 
And unfortunately, this information is ripped from his mind using his own truth serum, and is immediately used by Cassandra to build her own tower in the place where Mother Gothels once stood. The moon incantation is recited as follows. Crescent high above, evolving as you go. Raise what lies beneath and let the darkness grow. Bend it to my will, consume the sunlight's glow. Rise into the sky and let the darkness grow. Let darkness grow. And you better believe it that if I was holding the moonstone, I'd be sending rocks all over the place. But of course, the knowledge that was uncovered did not stop there. Rapunzel and her friends were also able to learn of a fourth incantation that Varian initially could not find. The way he eventually stumbles upon the final incantation is through a very, very suspicious dream. When he is thrusted into an unexplainable vision and realm, he is told the truth about the final incantation by the small ghost-like enchanted girl who was manipulating Cassandra to turn away from Rapunzel ever since she stepped into a place called the House of Yesterday's Tomorrow. Through the little blue ghost girl, he was able to realize that by reflecting rays of sun onto the demand to scroll, he was able to find the final incantation. Unfortunately, the scroll catches fire, but he is able to record that final incantation before it was destroyed forever. When Rapunzel and Cassandra are brought together for them to finally clash, this is when the sun drop has its powers truly unleashed. In a desperate moment to save the people she loves, Rapunzel feels she must use the final incantation of the sun drop and the moonstone to fight off Cassandra. And what we see isn't Rapunzel using magic that goes against the powers of the flower. What we see is an incantation that allows her to unleash all of the magic that she had been born with. We get to see the power of the sun drop released again. Rapunzel states the final incantation as follows. Power of the sun gift, me with your light, shine into the dark, restore our fading sight. Rise into the dawn, blazing star so bright, burn away the strife, let my hope ignite. Let hope ignite. I've really appreciated as we've learned more about these other incantations that they all have a similar structure to them. And it's really fascinating to see the differences between the light and the dark versions. What really strikes me about the sun incantation is how it focuses on brightness and hope, which are so integrated into Rapunzel. She's born from a kingdom that adores the sun, and we can see that through all of its imagery across Corona. And we know that she's been able to stick to what she believes and who she is, even in the darkest of times. Now, I do kind of wonder why the healing incantation would only remain intact while she had her original hair, but either way, we know that the Sundrop lives inside her. So we know how the Moonstone and the Sundrop were created, and how their mysteries were discovered again, but what could these incantations do? The Moonstone incantation that Cassandra uses gives her dominance over the Black Rocks. She can summon them, bend them to her will, and they are fully obedient to her. The Sundrop incantation, on the other hand, gave Rapunzel the burning energy of the sun, which brought the princess's eyes to glow bright, levitate, and shatter the black rocks that came her way. These incantations did not simply heal or decay. They allowed the light of the sun and the dark earth from the moon to be able to be set free with their full strength available to Rapunzel and Cassandra. But initially, it seemed that Rapunzel had more power than Cassandra. She could slay the rocks and hold their electric powers back in a way that seemed impossible. Why, if they were using equal and opposite powers, would Rapunzel be able to dominate over the other? I mean, definitely not dominate, but or rise victorious. I think it all has to do with what I was discussing before. Rapunzel doesn't have any doubt in her heart. She's a being of pure light, kindness, and hope. So it makes sense that she would be able to overwhelm the woman who doesn't hold the same conviction with the darkness. Even with the incantation, we know she at times is strayed away by Rapunzel and Varian, which is why she is unable to fight off Rapunzel's sundrop magic. But of course, she tried. 
Cassandra remained true to her intentions of facing Rapunzel. She sent waves of black rocks after her, just like I would have if I would have had the Moonstone. But the powers that clashed here were too much to be contained. Because of all the magic that was violently colliding, all of a sudden there was a devastating explosion. Now the Sundrop and the Moonstone desire to be together. They intrinsically have a drive to be combined again. We know that they long to be together, which is why Rapunzel was gifted with the protective powers of the Moonstone, so that she could neutralize it with the Sundrop. But when the Moonstone was stolen away and was redirected at the Sundrop, that's when unthinkable magic was created. That's why I believe there was a mass release of magical energy, the Moonstone cracking, and Cassandra falling off of the tower. But in the debris of the sisters' ultimate showcase of their powers, we learn of a much more important, unforeseen consequence of the sun and moon incantations clashing. When Rapunzel and Cassandra had all of their magic go against one another, they somehow forged a path to another dimension. The magic they had sent each other's way warped reality and allowed the enchanted girl to enter within it. But all of that madness and the implications of that girl and her portal will have to be saved for a discussion for another day. Most likely a Thursday. Those mysteries deserve their own analysis. Throughout Rapunzel's journey, we have seen her powers come to the surface through her healing the dead and her controlling black rocks, but now we have seen Rapunzel at the peak of her abilities. She is a princess ready to unite her kingdom, save her friends, and use all of the magic and incantations at her disposal to keep them all safe. But what do you think of the new moon and sun incantation? Let me know down below. Also fun people, thank you for supporting the channel by liking the video, downloading Dashlane through my link in the description, buying the Watso Videos merchandise over at watsostore.com, and for subscribing and clicking the beautiful bell if you're new. And finally, as always, have a magical day.